I was going to do a breakfast video, but they got me in right away, and uh, they're unloading me. For some reason, it said camera app closed, not responding. Still responding. So, bringing in the new year. Goals, expected challenges, little things. One goal I think everybody should focus on is to get rid of false self. Um, what society and everybody has formed you into be. Be the true you, truest you you can be. Um, <laughs> I don't think I have a false self. I'm too much of an asshole. Uh, if society formed me to be an asshole, then I grew up in the right time, I guess. <clears throat> but, <clears throat> anyways, sorry, I, it, it was cold as hell last night. I feel a little under the weather. My ears aching, everything. But goals for the new year for me, um, in the first quarter is going to be get that business license set up, my tax ID number, start building business credit. Uh, uh, hopefully the rates are going to be extremely better than they are now which I still make okay money so they can't be too too bad if I'm making okay money um, but I know it could be better from research and stuff and and all that challenges that I foresee going to be is depression is probably going to be bad for me this coming year I've talked about how a lot of drivers don't talk about depression, and I mean, of course, it's hard. I, you know, I've got a two-year-old son, and I got a wife at home. Yeah, I've been home more this go-around than I was with Stevens, um, but it's still hard leaving my leaving my family and my son saying go see daddy, or him trying to talk to the videos, and I'm not responding. Wife says he does that a lot. But not only will I have those two, I'll have a newborn come next month. And that's going to be hard. You know, my wife's doing it all alone. And I mean, we've got family and stuff, but they've got lives too. And can't always rely on other people to get stuff done or to help you out, you know, sometimes it just doesn't happen. Shit comes up. Sorry, it's rocky. I'm getting unloaded right now, and it's windy. So, those are going to be challenges for me and for my wife. It's depression. She's, you know, probably going to have postpartum depression, and I'm going to be stuck in depression of wanting to see my see my newborn, see my son, see my wife, both my sons, and my wife. I want to be home with them. Don't want to miss out on the mile markers that the new sun will hit while I'm gone. Yeah, it's good. It's good with technology now. I can FaceTime. I can see videos. I couldn't have done this job back in the day without it and having a family. I would have. I would have lost my shit. So to all you old heads, man, kudos to y'all, dude. Because I couldn't have done a payphone. And just talking to my family over a payphone. That's that's hard. I'm a big family man. Big family man. And uh, possibly, possibly purchase a truck next year. See how that goes. It's probably not gonna happen. Cause I want to save up a damn good chunk of change, not only for the down payment, but for uh, cover my ass bills and maintenance expense account want to have at least 10 grand in there before I even purchase a vehicle before I purchase a truck <coughs> regardless if I get a newer truck that has a good warranty on it and a good you know cover my ass warranty um, I still need for tires brakes little things like that and as long as I drive right and I got tires right and do pre trips post trips right I can avoid a lot of that in the very first few months, but 
at the end of the day it's it's going to happen at some point so you got to put back for that as well and it's hard my wife doesn't work because we want her to be at home with the kids and uh, I think she's going stir crazy already wanting to get to work and do her little side jobs and stuff but you know it is what it is I'm able to cover the bills I'm able to provide for my family and that's all I've ever wanted was to give my family the best life I could and um, that's going to be hard because I'm not going to be able to be that that father that is there all the time like I wanted to by this point in my life um, if you're coming into trucking and you do have a family like I've mentioned in my previous videos it is tough it's doable if you have someone that supports you and loves you and that is honestly there for you no matter what it is tough though there is going to be times that they want you to come home and quit and you got to remind them and you got to remind yourself that you're doing it for the end for the end bigger picture the end goal and i'm not going to be doing this truck and stuff forever uh not driving at least my goal is to eventually put someone in a truck that may come sooner than than the goal I'm originally shooting for because I kind of shoot my shit far out there so I don't get discouraged and disappointed when it doesn't happen in a short time frame and stuff like that doesn't just happen in a short time frame um, I haven't hit the lotto yet and I'm not blessed with that kind of money to spend like that so those are my goals and I guess aspirations and the curveballs I see coming for next year, the coming year. I hope everybody has an amazing bringing in the new year. Go get laid, go eat some good food, whatever makes you happy. And uh, yeah, I didn't do a cook a video yet. I'll do one. I just me and another driver parked here overnight. We both woke up late enough to where two drugs jumped in front of us. We still woke up early in comparison to our appointment times, but two other trucks jumped right in front of us. And it is what it is. You know, I'm not I'm not butthurt about it. I still got the whole day to get a load of run. So, y'all stay tuned. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. And I've said so around Christmas time, but Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Send blessings to all y'all's family. Peace out.